Hello, this is Diana. Welcome to my channel where I discuss all things bookish. Today I am doing an unboxing, or in this case, an unwrapping of my planner for 2022. Now I was looking to try something a little different, but I always knew I was getting a happy planner because I love the flexibility of being able to add pages and take pages out so easily. And this is a vertical layout. And I'm so used to the vertical that I feel very comfortable with that. What I've always wanted to try is a calendar, a week that has the, uh, the days broken down by hours. Because sometimes I will have an appointment at 10 a.m. or a doctor visit at 2 p.m. or something that needs to be done timely. The only problem with that is so many of the calendars and the planners I've seen, they start the day at some really early hour, like 5 a.m. and the day ends at 8 p.m. and that is so not my schedule. However, I found this journal in Michael's. I can't believe I'm calling it a journal. I keep doing that. <laughs> I guess it's a planner. It's not my actual journal, but I guess there is a lot of... <sighs> I don't know, writing in here, a lot of personal personality. So I'm gonna go with that. But, um, so I found this, I fell in love with the cover and with any book, with any journal, you need to love what it is you have. The color makes me happy, the quotes make me happy, and as it turns out, it actually is a vertical, hourly layout. Now, I can't really tell what the numbers are. I mean, it says so on the back, but it's really small. And this was the only one there. And it was really hard to flip through and see the pages. So I'm going to unwrap this with you. And I'm going to go through and see how this might work for me and see how I might use it. So rather than do the whole noisy thing on camera, I will be right back after taking this plastic off. So here we are with the journal and the plastic and the cardboard taken off. I mean, this is some serious plastic. Um, really hard, even uh, stuck on there. And the front cover and the back cover these are on with some serious adhesive. Yeah, this is how it goes. Um, so now that I've taken all of that off, let's open up and see what is here. Uh, welcome. Oh my gosh, there's more of this. Okay. All right, I just have to do this here. So sorry about that. These. Well, now you can see how intense and how safe it is to take a look at these. So, start off with a little happy page on 2022, 2023. So far, this is pretty normal. The year at a glance, uh, broken down by day. I really like this. Um, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. It's got the days down here with the weekends highlighted in gray and you can plan things out you know if you've got a vacation you can put that here if you've got trips if you've got appointments you know, whatever I discovered that I like this uh, I don't utilize it enough so I'm gonna have to work on that and it goes on and there we go we start off with no pages for a highlight of the year or each month. Let's see. Priorities and goals, important dates. So it's broken up with lines and some grid paper. And every month uh, dashboard always has a quote on it. Oh gosh, I love this color. The green. Oh, oh gosh, this is wonderful. So 
The calendar view is the calendar view. I really like that there's a note section here. It's big enough to hold planner stickers, but other but if you don't have them, you can still use them. The boxes are big so I can write in them. Always a plus. I want something that is useful. And so deep sigh. Here we go. This is what the page. Oh, this is something else. Set goals for this month and things to follow up on. Oh, this is cool. Let's see. So you set a goal. Action steps. Three ways. I expect to achieve this goal. And it repeats. And there's goes this way. So reflect what worked last month and how I can carry out those strategies into this goal. Huh, that's interesting. Things to follow up on, checklists. I'm big on checklists, love it. Uh, I'm not sure is this for just January and February or just several plans in the month of January. I'm going to have to see how I use this. Uh, and here we are. Here's the, the daily layout, the hourly layout. And so I'm not sure how I'm going to use, utilize this, but see, it starts off with 7 a.m. and it ends at 7 p.m. I don't know who has this, <laughs> this schedule like this. Um, if you do, let me know below and how this works out for you. But, oh my gosh, I where's the evening? I so miss the evening. My day continues after 7 p.m. And it's like, I need a piece of paper to continue on down through this. So, got to think about, am I going to keep the times? Am I going to, oh, and it's only... Oh, so it's only on the first column, and then you have to kind of guess and remember that this is 7 a.m. or 10 a.m. I was kind of thinking that it would be the times down each column. Okay, it's not. Um, let's see. It's got a daily habit. It is important today that to... <laughs> It is important to dedicate time to take care of yourself while working from home. Well, how perfect is that this year? Oh my gosh, yeah, I can use that. So here we are, the first full week of January. I'll be setting that up. And that seems to be the daily habit uh, quote for the month. So, hmm. All right, let's go through January. Oh, sorry for any crinkling noise. And then we're back to the next month's dashboard. Find joy in the ordinary. Okay, so let's see. We've got the calendar again. And we've got those set goals. So again, I'm not sure if these are two goals for one month. And things to follow up on. You know, I can figure out how to use this. I don't know if I'll, I don't know. I'll see how this works out for a couple months and see how best I'm utilizing it, if I'm utilizing it. We'll see. And so we go on to, again, the, the weeks. Now, we've got a whole big box here. And the idea behind that is I know to put uh, your top three goals or some things that you need to get done every day. You know, if you get nothing else done, that's what you need to get done. I have found those to be useful and not useful. So I have ways of dealing with that. So using stickers or other planning devices, I don't know. I'm gonna, this is really gonna be interesting. And this is definitely something different. And so we have the same quote, it's important to dedicate. I'm wondering if that's the same throughout the book. So the dashboards continue. If you believe in yourself, any dream is possible. And yes, the daily habits continue. April. 
the notes, the month, the font doesn't change, which is kind of nice. That adds a bit of consistency. The colors of the weeks don't change. Oh, no, they do change. They change per month. This is green. March was blue. Um, February was green. So let's see. Is May blue? So, oops. Okay, we're not there yet. kind of like the... Uh, the the rough edge is the very uh shabby chic kind of thing very worn i love that style and yeah this is blue so may june is that green yes it is so without going through this i'm presuming that every other month is a different color i like that it sets it apart um, so I'll be going through the dashboards. Well, we'll go through the dashboards really quickly. Make time for what you love. There's August. Ooh, this is bright. Um, every sunrise holds the promise of a new day. Oh, this is really cool. I like these quotes. Sometimes there's some really odd colors or... Just designs I don't like. This is very simple, and I'm loving the green. Dream bigger, sparkle brighter, live bolder. Oh, that's great. September's my birthday month. So this is a great quote for that day. October. Be fearless in the present of what sets your, your soul on fire. Ooh, like that. November. Your potential is endless. Absolutely. My potential, your potential, everyone's potential is endless. Go for it. And the last of the month is the time is now. Yeah, I'll go with that. And just to make sure, yeah, the daily habit, which I guess is either these or where this box is, it's the same throughout the whole book. Now, I've seen in other videos, some people will cover this up or do something different in these spaces, uh, cover, I, I don't know. I like that, but I don't know if I'm gonna like that every single week for a whole year. So what's in the back? And it's just huh, one sheet of note paper. Uh, all right, that's not entirely useful, but I do have papers and other styles and things that I will be adding into this, especially a folder here. Uh, I think a folder is a great thing. And again, lovely color, plan a happy life. And what is that? Hustle and heart. Ooh, I like that. And then we have the back, which is, again, a continuation of that great green color. So that is the unboxing, the unwrapping of my Happy Planner. The metal rings, not the reason why I bought it, but it is a nice touch. Very elegant, very professional, yet very welcoming. So... Uh, stay tuned for how I'm using this. I'll be setting up the first week of January real soon. So be sure to subscribe and follow my journey throughout this planner and for everything else on my channel. So keep writing, keep reading, keep planning, and keep doing. So until next time, see you later.